Hey guys, so this is that other science guy, and today we're going to make a, a nameplate. Um, several of you guys have asked for it. It's, it's a rather simple little design, so it shouldn't take us very long. Alright, so I made a little back on mine just so I could stand it up, just because I wanted to. Alright, first thing I'll do, file, new, design, gives us our main dude. Uh, let's go ahead and start with a rectangle. Let's start at the origin, pull them out. I went with... 80 by 20. I'm gonna make a 25 later. We'll look at how it goes. Mode, a uh, 3D mode here. Go ahead and grab your surface. Oops. We're gonna pull. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head up. Oh, gonna go four millimeters. I'm looking at that. I may. Kind of want to add a little more, but I don't. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to re-enter sketch mode on this plane here, so I just selected it and then hit sketch mode. You could also hit sketch mode and then hit the surface. Okay, hit plan view to orient ourselves. Let's go ahead and, uh, this is the offset button, pull control and select all these guys to come in, mm, yeah, 1.5, 1.5 looks good. Alright, uh, go ahead and hit 3D mode. Now let's go ahead and pull the main center guy down, so negative, um, 2. And they give a good, um, a good dip into the thing, so it looks good. So I think I'll stick with that. Alright, I made a little name, a little, um, a back plate for mine. You don't have to. You could leave it as is, or maybe even. Um, make a little hole, turn it into a keychain. Um, you would hit pull and then come down here, hit cut for that guy. Just drag it through. Um, if you wanted a keychain, um, then you can go through the process of um, sketching out a name if you choose. Um, it would be a lot, it would be rather tedious to try to type out the whole, or the, to make the whole name, especially when you get characters with curves like S's and H's and um, E's. The, this program does not have a text, uh, does not support text, so we can't just type it in. But our matter control does. This allows us, um, this program would allow us to create text at the last minute that we can insert and do stuff with. So, um, our names, let's do, let's do another Greek one. Let's do Prometheus. For some reason, I feel like that should be an E. Oh well. Uh, defaults done an underline. By the way, the matter control program is on my laptop. The, um, the main one I use. So when you guys have finished your design, you would just bring it to me on your flash drive, and I would, um, and, uh, then we'd, we'd edit it. Go ahead and undo the underline. Go ahead and hit save and exit. Um, then we have to do an extra step. Um, but let me show you that in a second. Go back here. Um, so I personally would just use the matter control for text. Doing otherwise is a little tedious unless you're going for like a specific font. I got like a Minecraft -y font. That's your choice. Um, I, however, will just do my own deal. In fact, I'm going to control Z a few times so I can get rid of this hole. Um, and then, in case you guys were wondering how to do the plate on the back, or the plate at the stand, um, I'll show you that real quick before we head over to matter control. Um, I went ahead and hit sketch mode on this plane here. Plan view. Oh, I wanted a different. <laughs> okay. If I could just get it. Nope. Uh, pan over. Um, just trying to rotate it so I can get it to. Okay, went in, took a line, 
Um, I wouldn't have put my bottom one to about here. Went out to about four millimeters, came back in parallel to that line. Uh, up there. Okay, went ahead and hit 3D mode. Hit this guy, pull. Um, and then I moved myself over to this side, and I used the pull to function. So I clicked this to, um, the up to function. And then I just moved my mouse over and clicked this guy. Yep, I dragged all the way to where that surface would have met. And then I have a little stand. Um, if you want to be really efficient, you'd probably put a slight slant so that it leaned back just a bit, but this will do. Alright, then you would, um, file, save as, uh, name thing, it already exists, I'll replace it. Um, then file, save as, so that was the RS doc, so you can bring it back in and manipulate it. Um, uh, file, save as, STL file, that I think it already did. For some reason I feel like it saved the first one as an STO file because I wasn't paying attention. Probably. Um, just in case it didn't. Name thing true. Okay. And then I went to matter control. Um, let's go ahead and just remove the, this guy. So after you, um, make your text in here from the create function you would um, need to export it as an STL file save it to your desktop up here as an STL file save then go ahead and get rid of it um, then we're going to go add your creation find your name thing um, go ahead and go to edit rotate um, to get it onto its, uh, you'll flip it on the x-axis, so this is 45 degrees at a time, you can manipulate this to be whatever you want to get it into whatever weird thing you'd want to avoid supports. I do it, I mostly think about it to avoid supports at least, um, or to get things to fit. Um, there probably be some supports inside, so if you want to get really fancy, you can actually put it on its side here, um, and that would eliminate the need for supports um, except for maybe the text which may end up more, more annoying than that guy so I think I'll just put him back alright now you to put the text in here you're gonna insert go ahead and find our STL file with the name um, go ahead and hit this guy to enter your uh, click and drag mode it's a little bigger than my nameplate, so I'm going to go ahead and go to scale, and then the ratio is a matter is a percent. One means 100 percent, two means 200 percent, 0.5 means 50 percent. So I'm just going to do 0.95. And that's not nearly enough. 80 percent, perfect. All right, so I went to 80 percent to get my Prometheus to fit. Now I want to go to rotate for Prometheus. Go ahead and rotate him. A Rotate him on the x-axis to get him aligned with my name guy. Uh, drag him in until it looks like it has enough that I think it looks good. Go ahead and hit the arrow to drag him up. Then zoom out a little bit to admire my handiwork. And there, I got a cool little name tag. Um, so then I would uh. I would set it to print. I would go to my advanced controls, choose my settings. Once I was connected to my um, printer, which I've also gone to the Greek thing, the printer's name is Festus, after the god of the forge, which I thought was promising. All right, cool, so that's that. You would save, and then you would print, and you'd be good to go. So, um, yeah, that's just a little simple nameplate. Um, and the fact that we'll preferably stick to using this guy for text. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks. Bye, guys.